Look, I think all, it was all pretty tough. I, I think when you go through them, um, we're looking at all the different positions that, that we have in place here. Um, it was really about making sure we have the cover for all the different scenarios that we think that we that we might face. And um, you, you take someone like, I guess, Daryl Mitchell, who who's done very, very well in, in all his opportunities he's been given, and, and Mitchell Satner, who, who's been, I guess, a longer standing servant of the team. Um, I guess there, there are a couple of them that, that stand out as probably the toughest ones. We haven't, we haven't had a look at the pitch here. We only arrived uh, an hour or so ago. Um, I think, I think there's a whole lot of different scenarios that could still be depending on what that looks like, what the weather's like, uh, and then they both could play yet as well. So I guess there, there's a number of options that we still have and, and I guess we've tried to select the squad um, knowing that we do have options and also trying to cover if we do have, a, I guess, an injury to each person as well. The groundsman sort of saying that he expects it to be a fair pitch for, for both teams, so hopefully there's some pace and bounce in it. Um, the weather forecast looks a little bit dodgy as we get closer to the game, so that may have an impact yet on, on our final decision as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll judge that a little bit closer to the time, but it's just, I guess, good, good to be back in Southampton. It's great to be here, and, and I guess the, for the whole team, it's a really exciting period of time that, that I guess no one's been in before as well. So for us, it's, it's new territory, and for India, it's the same, but we're really looking forward to what's ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's pleased to, I guess, be able to tell you that Kane and, and BJ both batted today and, and, and did their drills and stuff as well. Um, so we, we had a training at Edgebaston before we moved down here for the guys that weren't playing, and they got through that really well, and it's it's been... I guess really encouraging today to see the movement of both of them forward in a, in a positive direction. So all signs at this stage are leading them to, to being available. Yeah, AJ has bowled beautifully. Um, I thought in both innings he, he did the role that we wanted him to do there and, and picked up a couple of key wickets for us as well. And I think it, it's worth noting that the, the conditions that we face here in England are slightly different from a spin perspective as to what we get in New Zealand. And, I think the wickets here do deteriorate a little bit faster as well and the role of the spinner is probably one of a little bit more of an attacking option than, than what it is in New Zealand at times. So um, I guess we felt that we, we needed to have who we thought was our, I guess, best spinner um, in terms of the guy that can, can take wickets for us and that's why AJ has got that nod. Um, I expect there will be some spin at some stage in the match. It, it will probably depend a little bit in, in the lead up. I mean, it's been pretty hot weather here. Um, but I guess the, the long term forecast isn't looking quite so good. So if there's a bit of greenery in the wicket, then it might hold for longer periods than it normally would. Um, the English wickets do deteriorate, I think, a little bit faster than what New Zealand ones do on the whole. But again, we trained today at Edgebaston and, and it, was a, it was a great wicket still. And I thought that was a, a super test wicket as well. And hopefully we get something similar here. They, I guess, they're a, they're a very well balanced team as well. They've got some class uh, pace bowlers and, and it's not something that's always been, I guess, synonymous with Indian teams of the past. They've, they've relied heavily on their spinners. but. I think in the last sort of three or four or five years, then they've really developed their all-round game and look no further than what they did in Australia as well and, and beating them um, recently to make the World Test Championship final as well. So they're obviously a, a real force and we certainly aren't taking them lightly at all. To, to run a three-match series, you're really looking at a month of, of cricket and, and with the congested calendar the way it is, I think that would be really tough. Um, I think it's a nice idea in principle, but I'm not sure realistically it's, it's something that will actually fit in.